Hi everyone, I'm Elena and welcome to Makeup Fabulousness. Today I'm going to be focusing on two looks that will help you get ready and going to school really quickly. Both looks will be under five minutes. One is just basic minimal, just so you feel put together in the morning where you don't need a lot of makeup. Some people, you know, they don't want to be bothered with makeup. And then um, the second one is a quick um, glam look to get you out the door in less than five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and get off this makeup and start from scratch. Okay, so now that I'm stripped down to zero, um, we're going to do the minimal makeup look. This involves sunscreen, mascara, and lipstick. It's really quick and um, it's very easy to do. So basically you can choose one of two sunscreens. You can just if you have if you feel comfortable you can always just use something like basic sunscreen this is just a tiny sample I'm using for demonstration purposes it can be any sunscreen you know you just want it so it's gentle on the face or you can um, use urban you know something like urban defense um, BB cream or any type of BB cream uh, this is urban decay um, I've had it for quite a while Physician formulas makes a good one. There's plenty of them in the drugstore work well. You just want to make sure it has sunscreen in it. So what I'm going to do is um, get this set to zero and I am going to start. So let's get started and I'm just going to hit this little button here and we're going to go. So I'm just going to use the sunscreen just to show you and you just basically put it on and just make sure you have it spread evenly and a nice amount of coating but not over you, you want to do a fair amount so that you don't get burned um, there's a lot of times that you'll be outdoors and the sun will still be strong by the time you're starting school so you just want to make sure your skin is taken care of because the face can get a lot of damage from the sun okay so that's done I'm going to take some mascara I'm just going to use this false lash effect mascara by um, yeah. by essence and keep going oops didn't blend that and just put this on and you can use either a lipstick or a balm um, if you like the supernatural look I like this balm that e.l.f. has it's basically just a simple old lip balm it comes in pink peach and this is nude which goes with everything so you just put this on and you're done. You don't got to worry about whether you're going to have a natural glow and you won't have to worry. And that took approximately one minute and 20 seconds, a little bit after. So now we're going to re we're going to go back to zero. I'm going to take all this. Out. It gets rid of all the, um, it, it keeps you protected. And especially if you have class, anything like PE outdoors or anything, you want to stay protected in it. Although I'm not in school, I do remember what it was like to have very little time in the morning and you had to catch your bus or your train or get moving so you weren't late. So I'm thinking of you guys. Okay, so that's all gone. And I think I gotta double check and make sure I don't get any. One thing about this false lash, whenever I put on my lower lashes, I get these huge, um, I think, dark spots under, under your eyes so if you you can always go without wearing mascara on your lower lashes you'll still look just as good and it'll look more natural but now we're going to do full um full glam and i'm going to do it for you within five minutes so first what we're going to do just take a wet sponge and take some foundation um, most of you will want liquid foundation unless you have really dark skin this is elf and you just squeeze a little bit on your hand Oh, before I get started, all right, all fairness, let's get started. So I have that ready to go, and I am going. So just dab it on your face. Don't rub it in. Pat it in. And then just take your sponge. This one is by Ulta, and it's very inexpensive compared to the Beauty Blender. And just go ahead and dab it and blend it. Now some of you guys may need concealer, 
Some of you may not. You can always just put a touch of foundation underneath just to give you a quick, oops, <laughs> a quick, um, a quick uh, little dab under your eyes. You can also use color corrector, but you'd have to use it very sparingly because if you don't, if you over apply it, then it, you will see the color. And just go ahead and keep dabbing. And then what you want to do, if you have oily skin or normal skin, you want to use powder. So just take this little, I have this little e.l.f. Um, translucent powder, and it's just a really pale buff color. And you just pat it in with your sponge. And it gives you a nice, smooth foundation. And just pat it, especially in the parts that you think are going to be oily, which would be mostly your T-zone. But since we're, since we're doing this quickly, I want to get a nice glowy look. Just take the brush, brush the excess. And then we're just going to do a quick little bronzing. Take this bronzer. I love this as bronzer. And you just take your bronzing brush and just bronze where the places where you would hit the sun, where the sun would hit. Makes a nice contour. Just have to do a light hand. And then you want to do blush. Take a blush brush. I'm just going to use this NYX Ombre Blush. It's really nice. Gives you a nice blend and gives you really good pigmentation. Tap it and just get your cheekbones. Okay, next we want to do eyes. ColourPop is great for this because you don't need, um, what do you call it, really heavy um, eyeshadow and you just swipe it on. This is Waddles by uh, ColourPop and you can just uh, work it in with your finger. This saves you time on brushing and blending. I'm just going to check my mirror and make sure it's blended. Okay, and then always want to close those up because they dry out. Then time for mascara. So I'm going back to my favorite, Lash Princess, and just do a light coat on the lashes. Then we want to just do a quick thing with our pencil. So just do it like, just line it in really fine if it needs it. Some of you guys won't even need this. You have great um, eyebrows. And then you just use your spoolie to put them in place. And you can use gel over that. But you, I'm thinking fast. So right now I'm at 3 minutes and 10 seconds. One more thing I want to do. Take my liner. Now you will ideally want to do this before you put the mascara on. But if you're like me and you're careful with the mascara, you can do this if you forgot and you want liner. And just do it all the way across. Don't do anything fancy. Just to give your eye definition. You want to make sure your lips are moisturized before getting made up and um, exfoliated. I was wearing lipstick before, so I think I exfoliated when I took off all of that. And this is the tough part because you want to you want to always make sure if you're using just regular pencil, make sure it's nice and sharp or you will get stuck and just try and line it. And then lastly, lipstick time. So, try, oh, right here. I'm actually going to do something different and use lips. Um, oops, there you go. No, nope, that was something else. Okay, so I'm going to use a color pot. This one is called It's My Ray Ray. This is great because it's really nice for fall. Now you can line it, but if you are in a rush, just try to line your lip line. And this will dry down to pure matte. But thankfully, if you find any mistakes, just go ahead and take your little wipe and make sure you clean around the lip line. And I like to press my lips together. It gives you a nice smooth line. And this is just basically, considering I uh, dropped that, it's just over five, 
five minutes. So it, as you can see, okay, I might, might have gone just a touch over, but it was more about walking you through this. So you can easily do this in five minutes. And here's the final look. Now there's lots of colors you can do with this. Um, it's not so much about, and as you can see, I used a darker one with the e.l.f. So if you use a darker foundation in your skin, you want to take the time to blend it into your hairline. Now I removed it because it is like a total shade darker, but you want to remember that. And also you want to match. That's why you really want to match your skin color. But this is just to show you how it is. So you don't have to get a lot of fancy products. And it's just a matter of having everything organized and ready to go. But, you know, you have a nice made up look without looking overly made up and you still have a nice glow about you and you're taking care of your skin. So um, I thank you all for joining me. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit like or subscribe. And I thank you for all <laughs> for coming in. Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye bye.